If you're looking for an affordable solution to move some air around in your garage to help keep you cool or to help dry things off in the summer or winter time, this Mule garage fan might be the affordable option for you. It is easy to install, can be purchased with a remote, and also moves quite a bit of air. I'm gonna go through this guy top to bottom. Stay tuned. Installation of this is very easy. You just basically have to find your truss in the ceiling. There's two screws that are gonna hold a plate up here. Then this slides in and basically locks itself into place. Very, very simple. The hardest part is going to be finding your truss. From there, this will swivel all the way around. I don't want to, I'm connected up obviously to a cord and then you can tighten and loosen this and adjust this in any way you'd like. Like a ceiling fan, this can move and you cannot lock it side to side. It's kind of just going to sit where it wants to sit. If you have the cord pulling too hard, it will pull that way. One of the things I wish I could do is lock it side to side that would make life for me a little bit easier because then I could move this cord around a little bit more. Now this cord basically has a three prong plug. So if you have any type of plug like I have in the back for this heater, you can plug it in right there. You'll see a little box up there. Looks like an adapter. It is not an adapter. It is the remote. Basically I can turn this fan on and off from anywhere in the garage. So if I want to turn this on low, push the single button, this guy comes on. Now I am close to this fan, but this is low. You can hear the noise, which is fairly significant, but there is also quite a bit of air movement. Let's just go to high. The fan will turn itself off, kick right back up to high. And again, quite a bit of air movement. I'm sure you can hear it in my mic, and it is quite loud. Everything you need to install is included. Basically, here's your mounting bracket. Here's where this just slips up into the mounting bracket and there are then two screws that hold that down. Very, very simple. They have a cable that can go around a joist, not needed. Uh, make sure that you get into that joist really good. The, put in two big screws, they are provided, but if you have thicker drywall, go for a little bit longer screw. Make sure that you can get everything in, but this is very easy to install. If you decide to go with the model without the remote control, you're going to see a dial on the bottom that says 0, 1, 2, and 3. That is going to be your fan speeds. If you use the remote control, you're going to leave it on 3. This remote can be mounted on the wall, can be put in your toolbox, and it does have a magnetic connection on the back so you can just magnetize it to anything. This fits perfectly right in the back of my toolbox. I love that. Now here's the kicker. If we turn it on low, not bad. I'm sure you can hear it and you could easily have a conversation although you know you have a fan running for sure. It is definitely not like having a ceiling fan going and you can start to feel some of the air that is around here. If we go up to medium, it gets a little bit louder and our conversation starts to get slightly more difficult and that noise is definitely in the background. We go up to high. At this point, we're raising our voice to talk a little bit. There is a lot of air getting moved upwards of 3000 SCFM, but at the same point in time, there's a lot of noise being created also. So if we're gonna run that fan, we're probably gonna be alone, we're gonna have some music going, and if we're gonna talk to someone else, we're going to raise our voices quite a bit. We are currently 25 feet away from the fan, and I just wanna give you an idea of the noise level. Here it is on low. Fifty-one decibels, not bad at all. Much quieter than just my voice. Let's go up to medium. Fifty-four, fifty-five decibels, not bad at all. Here's high. Fifty eight to sixty decibels. Let's get a little closer. We're now ten feet away. Let's kick this thing on high. Fifty 
61, 62 decibels. Let's drop down to low. We're bouncing around there anywhere between 52 and 57. This is where I think it really works well because we can get a lot of air movement, but yet a much lower amount of decibels. This fan works excellent if you have a plug somewhere near the point where you're going to mount it, or you're willing to connect an extension cord and run it along the ceiling or somewhere, or hide it per se, and plug this guy in. Two, if you don't mind the little bit of noise that it creates, go for it. The moral of the story to me is, A, if you're building a new shop, put plugs in the ceiling. I know that sounds weird, but put a couple around. I think it would be a huge benefit long-term. Number two, put something in so you can put a ceiling fan up there because I think that in itself is quite huge. Ceiling fans are incredibly quiet and move a lot of air. Obviously, if you don't have a ceiling fan or don't wanna pay the big money for a big ass fan, you can choose this mule, which is a lot less money, a lot less CFM, and a lot more noise. It's kind of going around the cost benefit factor of what you'd like. This is inexpensive. I think it's 250 for this model with the remote, 219 without the remote. The remote to me is perfect. I can come over to my toolbox, pop it in, leave it there. Everyone knows where it's at. There's other options of putting it on a wall plate. There's a lot of things that you can do with it, but to me, getting it up in the air, getting that hot air that is way up there down in the winter time to help dry things out and move the air around is gonna be great. When you look at our shop here, this is kind of an L shape, so this helps to dry off this area where we are either working or storing the tractor. So if we're out snow blowing or anything, we can bring it in, let the water go down the drain, keep the equipment dry, I think that's important. But if this garage door is open, it will also help move the air to the other side where there is another heater and we get a little bit more of a balance. For you, it might be for cooling yourself down. Now, this is not like a normal fan that you would put in your house where when it is blowing at you, you are feeling a ton of air movement. It seems to push the air out a little bit more and while it moves quite a bit of air, it doesn't move it directly in front of the fan. It moves it out to the sides, which I think is great because you can move around the shop and no matter where you're at, you're gonna feel some of the air movement, but it's not blasting you with this big push of air, which kind of surprised us in the beginning because when you turn it on and you hear the noise, you're expecting to stand in front of it and almost have your hair blowing back. Definitely not the case, but you can feel the air movement interested in your thoughts on this guy leave those comments below as always give us a like on this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you for your time have a great day